So we're back at the pond and have a look here. You can see a tiny creature. It really is tiny. This is a water boatman or also known as a back swimmer because they swim upside down. Now this one's tiny. They're sometimes called water boatman beetles but they don't actually that they're not a beetle they don't they're not a grub they they actually grow from a tiny size they hatch out fully formed like this and then they just shed skin and grow and grow and grow uh, from tiny to large and they can get quite large not huge they can fly they look like a boat with oars and there you can see it's actually like a it's like a little boat and the oars are out and what it's actually doing is it's, it's actually just below the surface it's not on the surface and this is a tiny one. Oh, there's another one see and they're actually predatory they're looking for tiny creatures to to hunt and they don't have pincher jaws, they have needle jaws, like a hollow needle, like all the bugs, the true bugs. Beetles have pinchers and true bugs have these, these uh, hollow jaws that are like needles. And they stick them into their prey and then they suck out the juices, which I'm sure sounds delightful. But they're very beautiful to watch. Underneath you can see the tadpoles, which absolutely dwarf them at the moment. They're funny little creatures, but they'll get quite big. Now th these ones are only about oh a tiny fraction of the size of how big they'll get. But the adults would easily eat tadpoles and even small froglets. At the moment though, they're just Tiny creatures in a very big world. But they're looking at that world with a view to being able to eat things in it. There's a pretty good close up. You can see how it swims. Look at that, he's caught something where he thought he caught something with a stick. Look at that, whoa. Two predators going along together. They seem to be quite friendly. In fact, bugs seem to have quite complex social lives. They, uh, some bugs more than others. So this is just a very different kind of video, but uh, look at those little guys. Now I'm not joking; they're so small that if I, they wouldn't even fill my fingernail. I mean, we're talking about maybe five millimeter body length or less, four millimeter. But they're beautiful, and they live in their own little world. They probably live here most of their lives. There's a lot of them in the pond at the moment. They're so small you barely notice them.